In order to produce safe, clean water, filters must perform flawlessly and on a consistent basis. To reach that goal, utilities should have a proper filter surveillance program in place. It's efficient, effective, and economical. A formal filter surveillance program is the most cost-effective way to document and monitor filter performance, guide operational changes, and plan for capital improvements. Filter surveillance consists of a series of tests. The results inform operators on how to maintain or improve filter performance. A lot of what's happening in a filter is, is underwater, so it makes it difficult for anybody to really see what's going on. So this, this gives the operator a chance to get inside the filter and find out exactly what's going on within the filter. Every water treatment plant is unique, so not every filter surveillance program will be identical. However, there are basic guidelines and steps that every filter surveillance program should follow. First, establish a filter surveillance team of at least two people. They will be responsible for compiling existing and new information, performing the filter surveillance, and producing a surveillance log. The idea is to establish a baseline or benchmark of the filtration system, and later identify any changes in the filter media condition and performance to determine if corrective measures are required. The reason that filter surveillance programs are so important is because it provides you not only with that instance in time where you're doing the test, but also as you collect that data over the years, you are able to essentially keep a record of the health of that filter and its performance and compare that to other filters in your facility. Team members also need to review the following plan operation records. Water quality data, prior filter maintenance and surveillance records, filter design drawings and specifications, and standard operating procedures of the plant.